certainly is very much uh, in the front line in terms of vaccine development, at least for COVID-19 when it comes to the clinical development. This is the first uh, COVID-19 vaccine that's been evaluated on the African continent and it's probably the first of another two to three COVID-19 vaccines that will start to be evaluated in South Africa and on the African continent over the period of the next two to three months. Included in the participants that are going to be enrolled today are a number of staff from the medical faculty at the University of Edwardsman, including the dean of the faculty, that they volunteered to participate in the study. So they've been screened already uh, last week and they basically fulfilled the criteria which makes them eligible to participate in the study and today they're going to be receiving either a vaccine or the placebo. So I'm Professor Francois Fenter, I'm an HIV researcher um, at Wits University. I think it's really important for researchers to, to step up and support vaccine studies. South Africa has probably more pandemic experience than most countries in the world. We've had HIV, we've had TB, we've had multi-drug resistant TB, we've had hysteria, and we've had anti other hohos that have torn its way through this. So we've been very lucky with the people, in particularly at the National Institute for Communicable Diseases, have got incredible experience in terms of dealing with pandemics. So in some ways that's where we are unique. Um, so and they provide us with invaluable insights and some of the best research in Africa already in terms of understanding how the pandemics work. When you look at a global context in terms of clinical trials, less than two and a half percent of all clinical trials are actually done on the African continent, despite it constituting 17 percent of the global population. What that lends itself to is that usually many interventions that are actually developed, there's a lag in time before it actually is introduced into the African context. So for many life-saving vaccines, it's taken between five to 20 years for the vaccines to be introduced in Africa compared to when it's become available in Europe and the United States. The reason that I've got involved in this study is, is that the coronavirus pandemic has caused massive impact on what's happened in the world. We really do need a vaccine very quickly, not only to save lives directly as a result of the coronavirus, but also to save lives because of the socioeconomic effects of such a pandemic. And the sooner we get a vaccine, the more rapidly we're going to be able to extract ourselves out of this difficult circumstance. It's a randomized study. Half of the patients get the placebo and the other half get the vaccine. So I'm happy to try the vaccine because, you know, I'm at the age where I'm a target for COVID. But it's good to have a diverse range because you want to get results that would apply across age groups, uh, you know, uh, different health statuses, etc. to look at the effectiveness of the vaccine. We had an overwhelming response from the general public and also from very important people, which include professors and, and very um, high-ranking doctors um, which are working with this. And I think that's awesome because we need to get information for the, our entire country and we also need to spread a message that a vaccine is what we need right now and everybody is willing to work together towards finding that vaccine.